In lesson 9, we're going to learn about formatting text. I'll show you how to select text with the mouse. We'll learn about the floating mini toolbar. We'll learn about bold and italics, how to align text right and center it, and how to change the font and font size. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to start formatting our documents to look more professional. As a general rule of thumb, whenever you want to format something, you have to select it first. So let's begin by learning how to select text. Let's say I want to highlight or select my name. I'm going to move my mouse right in front of my name, click, hold the mouse button down, and drag it to the right. And as you can see, I've just selected my name. Now the first thing you're going to notice after selecting some text with a mouse is the ghostly image of a small toolbar floating up and to the right of the mouse. If you move your mouse over it, you'll see it comes into full view. This is called the mini toolbar. Now the mini toolbar has many popular commands on it that Microsoft put there for you thinking you're going to use them quite often after selecting some text. For example, you can change bold or italics or the font or the justification and we'll talk more about these commands in future lessons. But for now, if I want to bold that text, the text I just selected, my name, I'll click on the B and you can see my name is bolded. Now simply click off of the toolbar anywhere else in your document and that deselects or unhighlights your name. Now you don't have to use that mini toolbar if you don't want to. Let's say you want to use the ribbon. Again, I'll highlight my name. And instead of clicking on the mini toolbar, I'll come right up here to the ribbon and click on the B again. That turns the bolding off. Notice that a lot of these buttons are on-off switches. For example, bold is either on or off. Italics is next, on or off, and so on. There are a lot of different commands on here, and we'll talk more about them soon. Now what I'd like to do is I'd like to select my entire return address and align it to the right margin. So basically move it over here. I'll begin by selecting all of this text. I'll click here and then drag down into the right. So I've selected all that text. I'll come up here to the ribbon in the paragraph section and here's align text right. I'll click on that one. Notice that moved all of the selected text, which in this case is just my return address, over to the right margin. It aligned it to the right. There's also align center, which is right here, and that will center the text in the middle of the page. But I want this to be aligned to the right, so I'll click on align text right. Now what I'd like to do is change the font of my return address. Now the font is simply the way the text looks, the appearance of the text. There are many different types of fonts available in Microsoft Word. The default font is called Calibri. You can see it right here on the ribbon in the font group. If you drop this box down here, you'll see all of the different fonts that are available on your computer in Microsoft Word. Now your font list might be slightly different from mine. There are some basic fonts that are installed with Windows and then Microsoft Office 2007 comes with a lot of its own fonts. But if you scroll down this list, you'll get a look at all the different fonts that are available in your system. Now if you move your mouse over one of these fonts, you'll see the text in the background over here changes. This is called Live Preview. Microsoft Word is trying to show you what the font change will look like before you actually commit to it. So you can move your mouse over these different font styles here and see the preview of what your document is going to look like before you actually click on the font. So as I'm going down the list here, let's say I get to, oh, how about Bookman Old Style we'll go with. Once I decide that's the font that I want, I'll click on it and Word commits to change. You can also change the font using the mini toolbar. If I highlight the recipient's address, 
and then move over the mini toolbar here, you'll see the font is right there. Let's say I want to change this to Cambria. And there's the font change. You can also change the size of the font. Let's say the return address isn't large enough. Let's select it again. And then the size of the font, the point size, is right here. If you drop this box down, you'll see the default size is 11. Let's make it, let's see, 12. There's 14, 16. And again, you can see the live preview there of how big you want to make it. That's a bit too big. Let's come down to, how about 14 point? I'll pick 14, and Word commits the change. Same thing with the recipient's address. Let's go 14 point there. There are also two little buttons you can use to increase and decrease the size of the font and steps. For example, if I highlight this text here, there's the A up, which is grow font, and the A down, which is shrink font. So I can hit this button, shrink, 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 shrink. See how it gradually increases and decreases the size of the font? That's handy to know also. Now I'd like to emphasize the name of my company a little more. So let's come up here and select PCResale.net. I'm going to bold it. And let's change the color. Now right here, the A button is the font color. And you can see there's a little line underneath the A. That's the current text color. Right now it's just black. And if you click on that, you get black, which is what it is. To change the color to a different one, click on the little down arrow next to the A, and that will open up a color palette. You can pick any of the colors on here that you'd like. Let's go with uh, dark blue, right about there. And now, you can see it better if you click off of it. There, my PCResale.net is a dark blue instead of black. Want to change the color again? Just select it drop down the box, and this time I'll pick dark red. There we go.